Hello again, Mr Archie Stuff, back in the workshop with this fake gramophone that I've been trying to get working a bit better. Now you may remember that inside it actually has a motor that looks like a Garrard 30 but I suspect it's fake. And one of the problems was that as the turntable went round it tended to uh, rise and dip. It basically wasn't on the central shaft very well. So what I've done is I've borrowed the turntable or the platter and the winding handle from another machine that has a Garrard motor in it. If I release the brakes you should be able to see that it goes round and actually stays pretty level. Although I've only been able to achieve that by adding a bit of paper tape on the shaft there because the taper off the shaft seems to be slightly different from the taper on a real Garrard motor and in fact if I take the platter that came off the fake gramophone and try to put it onto here you can see that it just doesn't really go on it sort of wobbles around all over the place now I did try taking this platter on the fake gramophone here and actually giving it a bit of a whack as it went around because it fits on firmly but just not levelly but that was a complete failure it didn't seem to make any difference at all so although I now suspect this motor is a fake it is interesting that the original winding handle fits because that means that that's an old imperial style thread rather than a modern metric one something else I've noticed on the engraving on the bottom I previously noted that it's poor quality but actually looking in the middle it does actually appear to say Indian where on the original Garrard logo it says Swindon which is a town in the UK. Having temporarily sorted out the platter the next thing to look at is the speed control. Now there's a lever here that goes via a shaft to a mechanism on the motor there and if I move the lever you should be able to see that it's rotating a shaft that's moving the pad. Basically this plate is just moving too far in this direction. This pad isn't doing enough early enough. So that's the speed control in the slowest position. However if I loosen that screw there I might be able to rotate the shaft around a bit more so that it makes more contact with the disc underneath when it's in the slowest position. Well it's got to be worth a try. Now I've jammed up the spindle here with a clip because with the platter removed the brake obviously won't work. Right, well it seems that's the most movement. So make sure that's on maximum movement that way. Well that might be slightly better, I'm just going to have to give it a test. When it was free running before it was running at about 95 RPM. No, that's no better at all. So that's not a quick fix by the looks of it. I'm going to have to do something a bit more radical. Maybe I just need to bend the lever, the pad is on. Well that's bent a little bit. That wasn't even in full slowest position either. I don't want to bend it too much in case I break it off. It would be repairable but it would be a pain in the neck. Well that's looking a bit more hopeful. 
I think I might have overdone it now because now it's in the slowest position it's actually stopping the motor even starting. Put a few more wines on it. Could probably do the good oil as well. Let's just back that off slightly. It's not so easy to adjust backwards because when I try to bend it backwards it just moves the lever. Let's just hold that lever there. Bend the dew back fairly slightly. Okay. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit of this uh, sewing machine oil on the plate here. So it's on the slowest speed. There's a bit of noise there. Let's try increasing the speed slightly. So that's looking more hopeful. Well there's still a lot wrong with that motor, but at least it runs at a reasonable speed now. Right, well I'm going to cut it off there because the tracking's so bad, the tone arm will bind up and it will start to destroy the tracks. But from a speed point of view, both with the sound box down and with the sound box up, there's not much difference. It does seem to be keeping speed pretty well. Okay, so that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.